dear students welcome back to the class in the previous class we have discussed about suspension and colloidal solution today in this class we are going to discuss about tyndall effect and its few examples okay so before starting actual class i would like to tell you something that if you are not willing to learn if you are not willing to learn no one can help you if you are determined to learn no one can stop you okay by saying this i will start today's class with this tyndall effect okay so tyndall effect means what you can listen very listen carefully when a beam of light is passed through a colloidal solution beam of light is passed through a colloidal solution the colloid particles scatter the beam of light and the path of light becomes visible in the solution this effect is called tyndall effect so you can see for example i have written here so when a beam of light so this is a source of light right starch so when a beam of light is passed through a colloidal solution this is colloidal solution so when a beam of light is passed through a colloidal solution the colloid particles so colloid solution contains colloid right colloid particles so colloid is means what a mixture in which particles of one substance one substance are held inside another substance so that is nothing but colloid so here what happened when a beam of light is passed through a colloidal substances this colloid particles will scatter they will scatter scatter means throw in various random directions you can see throw in various random directions so what happens the path becomes visible so this is nothing but tyndall effect for example here in a first uh, i have taken solution of copper sulfate solution we have to take two beaker in that first beaker we have to take copper sulfate solution and the second one we have to take mixture of water and milk okay so you can observe here uh, solution of does not show any tyndall effect which means that the solution of copper uh, copper sulfate solution is not scattering any light which is passed through it so path of light is not visible okay so this is not show any tyndall effect but in the case of b you can see path of light becomes visible it shows tyndall effect okay mixture of water and milk shows tyndall effect because it scatters the light okay beam of light and uh, still few more examples tyndall effect can also be observed when fine beam of light enters a room so you might be observed that in a room on fine hole so what happens if light enters we can see the path of light so fine beam of light enters a room through a small hole so we can observe this happens due to the scattering of light by the particles of dust by the particles of dust and smoke in the air so how this is happen because the scattering is happen because of particles of dust and smoke present in air that's why you can able to see the path of light in a dark room when the uh, through this small hole if light enters so what happens scattering will takes place so this happens due to the scattering of light so by the particles of dust and smoke which is present in the air okay and second one is tyndall effect can be observed when sunlight passes through the canopy of dense forest so canopy canopy means nothing but the upper most branch of the trees in a forest so canopy is nothing but the upper most branch of the trees is nothing but canopy okay so uh, when the sunlight passes through the canopy so upper most branch of the trees of the dense forest okay in the forest mist contains mist contains fine droplets of water so what happens this mist contains fine droplets of water so which act as a particles of colloid this wa this water is act as a particles of colloid so that's why what happen dispersed in air okay so tyndall effect can be observed when sunlight passes through the canopy so the sunlight is passes through the canopy of the dense forest canopy is nothing but uppermost part of the trees upper most branches of the trees okay in the forest so in the forest what happen mist contains water droplets fine water droplets okay and which act as a particles of colloid dispersed in 
air so that's why we can able to see the path of light in the dense forest okay so today we have discussed about tyndall effect in the next class we will discuss about uh, differentiate this between collateral solution suspension and uh, true solutions until that bye bye children